This LOS is described the use of target capital structure in estimated weighted average cost of capital and how target capital structure weights may be determined. Weights of the weighted average. How do we determine what weights to use? Ideally, we want to use the proportion of each source of capital that the company would use in the project or company. If we assume that a company has a target capital structure and raises capital consistent with this target, we should use this target capital structure. The target capital structure is the capital structure that a company is striving to obtain. If we know the company's target capital structure, then of course we should use this in our analysis. Someone outside the company, however, such as an analyst, typically does not know the target capital structure and must estimate it uh, using one of the several approaches. So number one, you can assume the company's current capital structure at market value weights for the components represents the company's target capital structure. Number two, you could examine trends in the company's capital structure or statements by management regarding capital structure policy to infer the target capital structure. And finally, number three, you could use averages of co comparable uh, companies' capital structures as the target capital structure. So that's important. There's, uh, when we're doing the weighted average cost of capital, we're looking at the target. We want to use the weights in the target capital structure. Uh, if you don't know it, you can assume the company's current capital structure at market value weights. You can look at it, trends in the company's uh, capital structure, notes for management, or use the averages of comparable companies. So we're just going to finish this LOS with a practice question. Fran McClure of Alba Advisors is estimating the cost of capital of Frontier Corporation as part of her valuation analysis of Frontier. McClure will be using this estimate along with projected cash flows from Frontier's new projects to estimate the effect of these new projects on the value of Frontier. McClure has gathered the following information on Frontier Corporation. So we have the current year and the forecasted next year. The book value of the debt, current year 50, next year 50. Market value of debt, current year 62, next year forecast at 63. Book value of shareholders equity, current year 55, forecasted for next year 58. And the market value of shareholders equity, current year 210, forecasted for next year 220. The weights that McClure should apply in estimating Frontier's cost of capital for debt and equity are respectively A, weight of the debt 20%, weight of the equity 80%. B, weight of the debt, 18.5%, weight of the equity, 81.5%, and finally C, the weight of the debt, 22.3%, and the weight of the equity, 77.7%. Okay, this question shouldn't be too difficult, so we're going to use the forecast for the next year. That's what we've been talking about, the target uh, capital structure, the forecast capital structure. And this one, they gave us some red herring information. We're not using the book values. Uh, we're going to use the market values. So we have the market value of the debt and the market value of the equity. So to get the weight of the debt is going to be the market value of the debt divided by the market value of the debt plus the equity. And that'll give us 22.3%. And similarly, uh, for the weight of the equity, it would just be 1 minus the weight of the debt. But if you want to see the formula there, of course, it would just be the 220 divided by 220 plus 63, which is the 77.7%. .7. So the correct answer for this one is C, and that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.